Hi, how's it going? Charles Botenston, founder of Botenston Properties International. So let's just start with the opening idea, and that is getting everything prepared before you even put your home on the market. This is the biggest thing is that a lot of people, they just, they get so excited, they take a couple of shots on their, their iPhone, and then they just put it up for sale on Street Easy, and then they get like low ball offers, and they're not getting the price they want, they get frustrated, brokers are calling them, management companies, their neighbors, everyone else is like, why isn't it selling, it looks bad. It's just a whole mess. The reason I have a series of events is because it's the same thing with how we run our business, the same thing with getting ready for the day. You're not gonna go to work and then get dressed. The same thing is you have to get your home prepared before you put it on the market. Let's just start with the complete backbones, bare minimum. Number one is you have to get your building's offering plan. People are gonna wanna see it. Say a buyer comes in that's obviously outside of your building. Number two is, Get the most recent financials, the two most recent building financials. If it's a savvy buyer, if it's a savvy broker, they'll want it up front before they even make an offer. Definitely, obviously, once they go into the contract phase, you'll need the building's finance. Number three is get the purchase application ready. It could be really easy, it could be really challenging. There's debt to income ratio, post-closing liquidity. Obviously, your co-op varies from the neighboring co-op. It matters between each board. So a new board might have stricter rules or looser rules than last year or next year. Find out generally, they're not gonna say, if you do this, you will get past the board because the board, they say it's case by case, so they protect themselves in liability. The debt to income ratio, usually it's 25%. Post-closing liquidity, it's all of your monthly debt for two years liquid in your bank account. That's just a general rule. Obviously, it's different for each co-op. Get your stock and lease if it's a co-op, and obviously if it's with the bank because you have a mortgage, get the stock and lease ready. Get your attorney ready as well. A Manhattan-based real estate attorney. Not gonna be your, your cousin's deed or will. You want the best. This is one of the areas that a lot of my buyers and sellers, they, they wanna save money, but in fact, this is the area that you need to spend the most amount of money because it's your attorney. And it gets ugly sometimes, it gets very emotional. Number six, get your co-op open house rules and regulations. Some of them, they actually require someone to be downstairs while someone is upstairs. They require you to register it on Wednesday for a Sunday open house, required only to be an hour. And then the last thing is, the reason I actually say all this is because you can only enter the market once. You only enter the market once. Through this series of videos, you're gonna be exposed to fresh ideas, new ideas, but I'm telling you right now, this is how you get the most money for your product. This product is your home. This, this, like, if you do all this, you will get the most amount of money. Promise you, hands down. All right, so I went over the bare minimum, everything that you need to get, which is offering plan, building financials, purchase application, stock and lease, get your attorney, get the co-op rules, get their regulations, and obviously pets and subletting rules, and we're gonna move on to the mindset, and you're like, what do you mean mindset? Trust me, I've been there, I no, it is very emotional. You have to stay objective. We'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, just reply to the email that this video came in. I'm Charles Botenston from Botenston Properties International. Have a great day.